equivalent to the, uh, the definition of conservation of angular momentum. So, uh, the definition says, if a body's angular momentum has to be conserved, the net external torque on the body has to be zero. So, remember this keyword net external torque. There can be internal torques in the body or internal torques in the system, but none of those internal torques can cause a change in the angular momentum of the body. Only an external torque can change its angular momentum. So, the sum of the external torques has to be zero for the angular momentum to remain conserved. Now, let us take a real life example to understand how law of conservation of angular momentum actually comes into picture. So, as you know, angular momentum has a formula I omega. So, let us let us actually see how this I omega uh, applies in conserving the angular momentum uh, in a person who is rotating in a circus. So, for example, if a person who is rotating in a circus, uh, initially if, if he ha has his arms wide open, he rotate, let, it, let him rotate at an angular velocity omega. So, his angular, moment, uh, angular momentum is I times omega. If he brings his hands closer, the mass has come closer to the axis of rotation. In this case, the moment of inertia decreases. If moment of inertia decreases, omega has to increase such that the product of I and omega remains constant as to what it was before. So, if a person brings his arms closer to his body, he starts rotating at a faster rate. This is a real life example as to how angular momentum is conserved. So, this was a principle of angular momentum conservation.